James has been the most accomplished player in NBA history on several fronts, and that includes Christmas Day. I love the jingle. All right, LeBron has played more games on Christmas, scored more points than anyone else on the holiday, and he will try to add to those totals in 2024. He will have the chance to do that this year, but first, you can spend your Christmas morning watching Victor Wembanyama in the garden as the Spurs. They take on the Knicks. That's at noon Eastern on ESPN. This will be the 48th Christmas game played at MSG. That's quite possibly also the stage for Wemby's biggest NBA game in his career thus far. And then, you know we need both ABC and ESPN for this one. We have a rematch of last year's Western Conference Finals between the Wolves and the Mavs. This will mark Ant's first Christmas Day game. And he'll face Luka, who, you know, dropped a cool 50, 15, and 15 in our stockings last go-around. And then at 5 o'clock Eastern, we have the defending champion Boston Celtics at home against Joel Embiid and the Sixers. These two teams, they faced off more than any in the postseason but we will see them for just the third time on Christmas Day. But hey, Steph and LeBron, they see your three and they raise you a fourth. The two all-time greats will now have met as many times on Christmas as they have in the NBA Finals when the Lakers head to the Bay Area to play the Warriors. That's at 8 o'clock Eastern. And then it's our nightcap, so you can get your eggnog for this one. The Nuggets and the Suns, if this game is anything like the final chapter of that Christmas in 2022, Jokic had, what, 41, 15, and 15 in an overtime thriller, then you're not going to want to miss this one back on ESPN. But there's one team we've gotten used to seeing on Christmas that won't be there this year, Milwaukee. And Giannis, he certainly took notice. He posted this on social media. And maybe he has a point. The two-time MVP has played on Christmas each of the last six seasons. But when you see the slate I just outlined, you know the rule. you got to take somebody out to put the Bucks in. And it's pretty hard to argue with the league's decision-making on this one. So Giannis, he might not be playing the role of the Grinch, at least not this year. But which player is going to steal Christmas Day? Andrea, I go to you first here. Well, I'm going to go with the young man that it looks like they stole Giannis's opportunity on Christmas, and that's Victor Wembanyama. Mm. Who got kicked out of Christmas Day? It was the Bucks. Who got moved into Christmas Day? It was the Spurs. And we all saw Victor Wembanyama with that silver medal around his neck after the Olympics. He said, I'm learning. I'm no worried for opponents. And then he was asked, what opponents? FIBA and the NBA. And he said, everyone. What better way to get some revenge and to play with that chip on his shoulder than to dominate on Christmas Day in Madison Square Garden. It is a beautiful opportunity for Victor Wimbanyama to again remind people who he is and what's to come with his career. Perk, you agree with Andre here? Is it Victor? No, I mean, I ain't mad at the answer, but I'm going in a different direction. I'm staying out west today, you know what I mean? It's sunny outside. I'm staying out west today. Luca Magic. Luca Magic is who I'm rolling with. He's going against Anthony Edwards in the Minnesota Timberwolves. Do we remember what Luca did to the Minnesota Timberwolves in the Western Conference Finals? I mean, literally, it was abuse. He did everything and more. And on top of that, it's only a few teams that Luca really don't like that we know of, right? We know he has this <laughs> personal beef with Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. But he also had beef with the fans of the Minnesota Timberwolves. Lucas scored a 50-piece last Christmas. Damn it, he's not going to disappoint this Christmas. You know what? I'm just going to carry the baton coming off the heels of the Olympics. You talk about Luca. You compare him to one guy, the guy that's going to steal Christmas Day, LeBron James. LeBron James, because this matchup is just everything. You like that, Perk? And the reason I say LeBron is because this is a head-to-head -head matchup against Steph Curry, too. I mean, that is just popcorn. And if you think about it, LeBron has actually won two out of the three matchups on Christmas Day um, so far. So it's going to be interesting to see how LeBron keeps this Lakers squad going. What really fascinated me coming off the heels of the Olympics, clearly this squad has two of the premier stars. I know Steph is operating a little bit out of a deficit, not knowing what is coming. But on Christmas Day, when you have those two greats yep. looking at each other, trying to compete against each other, LeBron James owns Christmas for a reason. And the, we said this about Kevin Durant and LeBron James in opening week. You can't take for granted these matchups between Steph Curry and LeBron James, particularly on Christmas day because there are very very few left and I'm very glad that the schedule gods gave us that one more time but if the last 76 years serve as any indication we're, we're gonna have some serious highlights going down on Christmas Day so we